electron, magnetic force on an electron. We have the electron moving to the west, a speed of 6 times 10 to the 7th meters per second, and a magnetic field that's also horizontal. The electron's motion is horizontal. The magnetic field, horizontal only, directed towards the south, directed towards the south through the magnetic vector. Well, we just want to determine the direction. We'll calculate the magnitude later and calculate the path the electron travels on. But the uh, magnetic force is equal to the charge times the velocity times the magnetic field times the sine of theta. Uh, in this situation, the sine of theta will be a 1. We're 90 degrees from each other. The key to um, understanding the direction is to look at velocity and magnetic field. First, the velocity. And I use the right-hand rule to do this. So I'm going to use my right hand. If you use your left hand, you'll have to reverse uh, at the end. So using the right hand, first I'm going to put my fingers in the direction of the velocity. So I put my hand up here, and all of these uh, rotations here, my fingers are basically in the direction of the velocity, uh, off to the left on the page. Now I orient my wrist and my palm so I can easily turn my fingers into the direction of the magnetic field that's towards the south, towards the bottom of the page here. When I do that, my thumb shows the direction of the magnetic force on a positive particle. This is the right-hand rule. First, pay attention to the direction of the velocity. Second, twist your wrist, rotate your wrist, so you can easily bend your fingers into the direction of the magnetic field. Your palm will be facing the magnetic field. And the direction then for a positive particle is uh, in the direction of your thumb. So velocity, magnetic field, my thumb is pointed up. So the positive particle, the magnetic force would be up. Is the electron positive? No. The electron is negative. And what you do is just uh, reverse the direction that your thumb is indicating. So the magnetic force on this electron will be down. This electron will start diving into the paper. If uh, at time equals zero, it's configured like this. The electron's going to dive into the paper. And you should notice here that this force is perpendicular to the velocity. And this force is perpendicular to the magnetic field. So the right-hand rule, we've got perpendicular here, and then the thumb for a positive particle is coming up out of the page, also perpendicular. So perpendicular force, perpendicular velocity, does that remind you of anything? It should remind you of circular motion. The force is perpendicular to the velocity. And that's what's going to happen here. So let's continue. What's the radius of the circle that this electron travels on? Well, the magnetic force is supplying the centripetal force. Magnetic force is supplying the centripetal force. Or magnetic force is QVB sine theta. Our centripetal force, mass of the electron, and then V squared over R. We're seeking to calculate R, the radius of this circle. Again, I'd remind you that the theta is 90 degrees. There's a right angle between the velocity and the magnetic field. So the value of the factor sine theta will be 1. won't have to worry about that. You can see that there's V squared on the right, just a single V on the left. I'm going to cancel one factor of the velocity. And now solve for R. R in symbols has a value. I multiply both sides by R. I divide both sides by what remains here, Q and B. The sine theta factor is a 1. And I have the mass of the electron times the speed of the electron. 
divided by the charge of the electron divided by the magnetic field. So we have these numbers where we can look them up. For the electron, 9.11, 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. For the speed, 6 times 10 to the seventh. We've already taken care of the direction, so I'd, instead of saying velocity, I'll say speed here, but they're uh, interchangeable. We're just calculating the magnitude here. We don't need the direction of the velocity. We don't need the direction of the magnetic field. We did that in part A. The charge on the electron is the fundamental unit of charge, 1.6 to the minus 19 coulombs. Capital C here stands for coulombs. And then the strength of the magnetic field in Teslas, the standard metric unit for magnetic field 0 0.018. So you should pause here and do the calculation. And I came up with a radius of 0 0.019 meters. And if I convert that to centimeters, I have to move two places, 1.9 centimeters. Of course, this is assuming the electron doesn't hit anything. We're working in a vacuum. Uh, but that would be the radius of the circle. OK, part C. This was the speed 6 times 10 to the 7th at the time equals 0. What's the speed of the electron after it travels for 0.16 seconds in this magnetic field? It's going to go quite a distance. And again, assume it doesn't hit anything. What's the speed of the electron? Well, you should remind yourself the force is perpendicular to the velocity. The acceleration is a centripetal acceleration, perpendicular velocity. and this, this electron moves in uniform circular motion. The speed is constant. The magnitude of the velocity is constant. The speed is constant. So there's no change. So it's still 6 times 10 to the 7th meters per second is the speed of the electron. Little reminder here, uniform circular motion, the force is causing an acceleration, but this acceleration only changes the direction of the velocity. The acceleration is not changing the speed. So keep practicing with the uh, magnetic force.